before Bell Delphine with Clockin, almost 1 million subscribers on YouTube, and Clockin as many as 4.5 million followers on Instagram before her account would get deleted for violating guidelines. So, yeah, let's begin. Before Bell Delphine would land herself in the Urban Dictionary as an internet thought who gained clout from meme pages and thirsty boys by doing Iago faces that make her look like she's having intense seizures. You know, we all like the same I get it, I'm an anime fan as well. Okay. Before Belle Delphine would troll the world, starting up an adult site and eat a photo of PewDiePie. Oh, I knew it, see? I knew you weren't like those other girls. I knew that. Before Belle Delphine would make a massive return to YouTube and the internet with a 6 9 inspired music video and to announce that she was starting an OnlyFans page and the crowd goes wild. Now Belle Delphine, she took nearly a one year long break from the internet and over on her OnlyFans, well she explained, This is my first OnlyFans post, how exciting. I hope you guys have all missed me as much as I've missed you. I haven't been on the internet for almost a year now, so I feel slightly shy again. But I'm sure once I start speaking to you all, I'll feel comfortable being here again. I thought for my first photo set, you guys would appreciate something simple. I don't think I've ever worn this lingerie set before, but I love the way it straps around my butt. Ha ha ha. Also, this is very not safe for work, but while I was gone, this, uh, <clears throat> well, literally been keeping me company. So what a better way than to hit my OnlyFans off by showing you it. Yikes. Now for the record, I did not sign up. I'm no simp. That's not, that's not what this channel is. Now what we do is go back and talk about this person's rise to fame. And uh, the last time we took a shot at Belle Delphine video, well, it actually got demonetized, it got age restricted, and the thumbnail, it got dropped. Now if you can see the thumbnail, let me know by hitting that like button right now. We got lots to get through. The last time we never found her old Twitter pages. So yeah, a lot of new info in this one. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCredden back at it again with a brand new Before They Are Famous, this time on the one and only Belle Delphine. Now the first time we took a crack at this, there was no before videos, no before clips, and it was a pretty poor excuse for a video. I also looked like shit and I had white hair, so an update is definitely something we needed to do. As always, be sure to let me know who's next in the comments down below. Sorry about my voice, it's very early in the morning here. Also, check out our new intro. Okay, here we go. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Sexy new intro, right? All right, Belle Delphine was born Mary Belle Kirshner on October 23rd, 1999. Now the story goes that Belle, she was actually born in South Africa before relocating to London, England. Now I actually looked up another YouTube channel that makes similar content to me, and then I found this. According to popular YouTube celebrity profile series before they were famous, Delphine's real name is Belle Kirshner. That's right, you heard it here first, folks. Now when it comes to her parents, well the only info we have comes from her latest music video, where she said, and I quote, Who actually regrets me? My mother. Also, little titties, big ass, and no dad. Oh god, this video is definitely gonna get demonetized. Damn it! Damn you, Belle Delphine! It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> now, she apparently had a dislocated hip as a child, and that required extensive surgery to set her straight. Now, growing up in South Africa, Belle, she enjoyed the outdoors, and she was mainly off of the internet. Now, it wasn't until she was nine years old that she moved to England, and there she switched schools a bunch of times, and then she dropped out at 14 or 15 years old, and she moved out of her mom's house and was living in a shared house where she picked up a few jobs to cover her costs. We actually talked about this in the first one, and then someone else repurposed that. Check it out. According to Before They Were Famous, the star was a waitress and worked at a coffee shop. Now, growing up young Belle Delphine, she always had a passion for the arts. Now, she loved painting, she loved drawing, designing. That's according to her Patreon. Now she also enjoyed DDLG and pet play. DDLG is cosplay where one person is the caregiver or daddy and the other is childlike. Now it does clarify that it's not an actual relationship between a father and a daughter, but still, sounds pretty creepy to me. <laughs> okay. Mm. Now the oldest internet footprint we could find from Belle was on Twitter from 2012. Here she was a normal girl posting photos. She was talking about sleeping on the weekends, loving Pringles, also getting ready for Christmas during Halloween, and she revealed that she was a massive Shane Dawson fan. Oh my God, I didn't prepare anything. <laughs> she was definitely a big Gen Zer, a child of the internet, and she would watch weird videos online, and she would post her own bizarre thoughts. 
Now her first Facebook photo, it dates all the way back to 2013, and her first documented selfie posted to Instagram was in 2015. Now she also started a YouTube channel in 2016, and her earlier videos, they were innocent enough. I've had a few people ask me how I do my makeup, so I thought I'd just make a quick and easy video of how I do it. So if anyone asks, I can just link them to this. Now it will be two years later before she started posting more intense cosplay pictures that began gaining her some online fans. Now people, they started to take an interest in this innocent young girl who would do outlandish things for fame and attention. Now internet chat rooms, they also began to analyze what was real and what was fake, including her braces. Now she had appeared on camera with perfectly straight teeth before, but then she opted to get braces, at least a temporary pair, just I guess so she could look younger. Another watershed moment for Belle was when she started doing the aha, uh, uh, I can't say it, I'm just gonna, let's roll this. A head out. Yeah, that thing. She started doing that face. Now the term it's used to describe an expression that's often drawn to the face of a Japanese anime, and we're talking about the stuff of the adult variety. If you like to watch a little hentai on the down low, that's, that ain't my problem, you know? Yeah, you know I watch that <laughs> bro. Now characteristics of this face are having your eyes rolled back and sticking out your tongue, and then from there, well the crowd goes wild. Oh, I'm f coming oh yeah yeah she began to explode on tiktok as well and things really ramped up for her to the next level when she caught the attention of pewdiepie who used her in a thumbnail in 2018 thank you belle delphine very cool now i can use her in the thumbnail for millions of extra views thank you belle delphine <laughs> this is a blessing also thanks for not striking my thumbnails i really appreciate it Thank you very much. Now with all this publicity, well, Belle Delphine, she was off to the races and her own Patreon and premium Snapchat accounts. Well, they were set up allowing her to monetize this massive audience. So what was her Patreon actually offering? I'll run you through a few details. For $1, you could get a thank you. For $5, you would get access to some behind the scenes content. $25 a month would get you exclusive photos. And $50 per month would get you access to her personal private Snapchat account which she calls her Nadia social media. Now that we're talking about this, these were like the innocent days, for real. Now the Patreon package, it actually went all the way up to 2,500 bucks, where Belle says that she can't even possibly think of a reward for anyone who donates that kind of money. But uh, there were a few out there who stepped up to the challenge. I, I could explain to you why I'm making the transaction if, uh, if you oh, need. No, no. no okay. <laughs> You can tell me if you like. Basically, I run a YouTube channel and I was going to pay her to play a video game with me as a joke. Now, it sounds incredibly sad. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now that video there, it got over 5 million views. YouTuber Pyro Cynical, he paid her $3,000 shortly afterwards. And then taking things to the next level, well, PewDiePie, he posted a video where he paid her a whopping $0. With all the attention surrounding Belle Delaphine, well, she doubled down and she actually pulled a stunt where she sold her bath water. It all sold out. It was a huge thing. Everyone wanted a taste or a drop. I don't know, one guy made like mac and cheese with it. I'm gonna vape this bitch. I recommend you subscribe to youtube.com slash VO because things are about to get weird. Did you just plug your own channel to brag about the fact you're gonna vape bath water? Now in February of 2019, it was rumored that Belle, she had died due to an Instagram post where she said swipe right for an announcement from me. And then in the following video, it was her dancing to a song with some disturbing lyrics. Now it wasn't a good look for her millions of fans, and despite those who fell for the hoax, well it looks like Belle Delphine is alive and well. Although she did recently get picked up by the police, because apparently she spray painted some girl's car who stole her hamster. And she got the hamster back. My god, what kind of life is this? Fact or fiction? I just can't be too sure. I guess when it comes to Belle Delphine, you never know what's next. But she certainly knows how to work the internet and to get all eyes on her. So kudos to her for that. That's good. Anyways, guys, this is Before They're Famous. So for the rest of the story, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see because this is Before They're Famous. My name is Michael Craig. We make all sorts of celebrity bios. Drop a new one each and every day at around 7 p.m. So be sure to let me know who's next in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!